Where is everyone? The briefing's already started. Let's go. Is everyone clear on their assignments? Uh-huh. Okay, then. Ah, Trent. Junko. Good, you've arrived. We're just now discussing our attack plan. Long-range scans have detected a Nomad jump gate in the area that will lead us to our final destination. We'll fly there through the Badlands, which should give us some cover from the Nomad attacks. We'll enter the jump gate and fly into what we think is the Nomad homeworld. Once there, we'll have to improvise. We'll break into four attack groups. Trent, you will lead Alpha Team. I'll lead Beta, and Colonel Zane will head up Gamma. A group of heavy bombers will maintain a holding pattern until we can clear them a path. Any questions? Okay, let's go. All right. See you in space. Let's get them. Scott. Herr von Clausen, you're coming with us? Yes, I am. We must still drive the nomads from our worlds and avenge those we have lost. I'm going with you because I owe them something. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Good luck. To us all. Von Clausen. He's got like a fruity ponyta ponytail and everything. Oh, I'm so glad that like the alarms just stopped. Repair complete. That guy was like shaking his head no at me. He's like no. All right, let's see. More stu Sun Slayer. And I got the rest of this pretty much. All good. Let's let's go lament at the fact that this ship sucks. You smelly Anubis fighter. Get out of here. Uh, all right. <laughs> I mean, it's a, just I picked up this guy, so it's like I might as well use it. But whatever. I'm not people, I'm Trent. The Osiris is too large for the Nomad Gate, and won't be able to assist us. Is that a really in a fighter? It's fucking kick-ass. According to our scans, the Nomad Gate is close, just outside the nebula. Expect heavy resistance once we clear it. That's our strategy. The Osiris will create a diversion on the other side of the system. Hopefully the Nomads will fall for it. Our strategy is to head directly into the Nomad Gate. We believe the alien homeworld lies directly on the other side. Our best chance is a frontal assault with everything we have. I just forgot, I just realized I forgot shield batteries. Oh well. That's close to my max anyway, so... Honestly, if that makes a difference then... I see the gate! There it is! Then I don't know. Look at that thing. I'm not picking up any ships. Keep your eyes open. The Nomads are bound to know we're coming. There! A Nomad battleship! All fighters, engage the Nomads! We. Am I gonna take out the battleship? Is that my objective? I'm so glad the, our, that capital ship came to come help us. I got this guy. Is that their mission? Take out the nomad ships, so yes. This counts as one of the nomad ships. We're gonna kill with torpedoes. Wow, we do holy shit, I'm not even doing this. They're fu they're just fucking it up. I'll just let them handle it. Fuck that. <laughs> even even a really is in on the joke. God, is this time for the Trenko's first joke? Really, really? In? Come on. All right. Well, here's a odd-looking jump gate. Oh, I have to weirdly dock with it. I don't even know where the dock point is. Okay. I'm trying to dock. Oh, there we go. Okay, now it's turning around. That's oh, a good thing they didn't deny me the fucking. What the? F where the fuck are we going? Are you? Are you information really in? 
Oh, what the hell? No, they're not even following me, apparently. Okay, Trent's... Trent's gonna go do this by himself. I have to do this, Juni. For Rhineland. You wouldn't understand, Rhineland. Oh, hey, cool. What the heck is that? Looks like a giant barrier of some sort. We must find a way to break through it. How do we do that? I'm reading several strong energy signatures on the surface. Those could be our targets. All ships head for the barrier. Yeah, fuck these nomad fighters. Oh, everyone's going into fucking thing. I like these. Escort for veteran. Damn. We're not going for the barriers? It says head for the barrier, so. I found an entrance through the barrier, but it looks heavily shielded. Looks like several power generators are supplying the shield with enough power that I can't penetrate it. Understood. Trent, you and your wing have to take out the power generators. All other units continue to engage the Nomad fighters. So I, I, I get all the interesting jobs like taking out power generators. Ow! I didn't mean to. The first generator is gone. Good job, Alpha. Dude, this is like fucking some Death Star fucking trench run level shit right here. Mike, you've turned off your targeting computer. What's wrong? <laughs> These look like little hives. Is it weird that this is the easiest part of the campaign for me so far? Is it is it bad that the Liberty fighters were so much worse? Yeah, don't worry, Juni, you don't have to do anything. Don't bother destroying those giant, like, dicks that are coming out of the fucking sides of the walls. Trent's wing has destroyed the third generator. Only one more. I'm, I'm kind of at an angle, I don't know why. Alright. Last no oh, no. That that torpedo has a line of its own. It's going it's free now. The shield is going down. All units, proceed through the opening. Trent, you and your wing go first. Trent, fly through the opening in the barrier. We'll follow you. Wow, look at this place. It looks like the nomads built a complete shell around this sun. Incredible. It's similar to the old theory of a Dyson Sphere. It allows the Nomads to harvest all energy coming from that sun. What do we do now? Whatever it is, it's massive. Uploading coordinates. All units, proceed to King's coordinates. Trent, this could be your target. More Nomad ships! Here they come! Trent, Judy, take your wings and proceed to the structure ahead. King, go with them. All other units, stay here and engage the nomads. Alright, it's up to us. Let's put an end to these nomads, once and for all. If you don't know what a Dyson Sphere is, uh, go, go Wikipedia that shit, it's actually pretty cool. Very impressive. I also spoiled it earlier, but um, I, I muted that part out, I just realized. It's a city. A giant nomad city. I'm reading a strong energy field around the structure. We have to find a way to disable it. Oh. Do we have to destroy that? What actually takes damage? Oh, that, that's, that's definitely... That's something that, that dies. So glad I have all these uh, Sun Slayer torpedoes. Oh, look, look at King and Juni. I love them. Look at them. They're fucking adorable. They're just like shooting the thing right there. 
one shot, Trent. Damn it. No effect yet. Take out another one. Yeah, they're, they're just... They're, the nomads are just useless against my fucking powers here. I, I probably should have, you know, used my cruise engines, but I'm lazy as fuck. Wait, someone said bogey taking fire. That's that's the no bad said that. Torpedo away. Fucking nomads. When will they learn? Valkyrie. It's okay. It's been nearly two weeks since hostilities between Rhineland and the other houses came to an abrupt end, and peace has settled over the colonies. Despite many lingering questions, government officials remain tight-lipped about what has triggered this sudden change. In other news, LSF commander Junko Zane and freelancer Edison Trent, both former enemies of the state, have been granted full pardons and have received the Lone Star for Bravery, the highest decoration any individual in the colonies can receive. Though the details of their heroism have been Liberty Ale, mister? No, thanks. I never told you. I asked the bartender about you the day we met. You did, did you? Mm-hmm. Sorry I'm late. The debriefing took longer than usual. I guess you can't rush the president. Or amnesty. Not to mention the generous reward. Hang on one second, I'll be right back. Aurelian. Let me tell Junie you're here. No, Colonel Trent. Even with the colonies rebuilding, and the contaminated human population restored to normal, the threat isn't over. For now, it's better I stay less well known. I just wanted to see if you would consider a proposition. What sort of proposition? To be the eyes and ears of the Order here in Liberty. Think about it. Enjoy your vacation, Freelancer. I'll be in touch. Be seeing you, Casper. Trent, let me introduce Mr. Harrison, our newest diplomat. Mr. Harrison, Edison Trent. Edison? What an unusual name. Uh, call me Trent. Pleased to meet you. The pleasure is mine, Mr. Trent. President Jacoby speaks of it. Well, that's the uh, end of the default campaign. Uh, that's This is where the game would end, and you'd be able to basically free roam like you would in, the, I guess, like uh, the regular multiplayer cam uh, kind of multi. Sorry, you can you can roam, free roam around the galaxy like a multiplayer ca campaign. Anyways, um, part of what this mod does is it does introduce a second storyline, uh, which I'm you know completely not familiar with. And I said I'd do it. Uh, just not right, right away, although we have some text here, I see. 
So it says, two years uh, have passed since the Dyson Sphere incident. Much has changed. The houses came together to sign a peace treaty and the order returned into a respected organization funded by the governments, uh, still operating in the dark. The order's task is to secure l this brittle peace and observe the nomad threat. Junie disappeared five months ago. She said there was an important mission that she couldn't talk about it. Uh, great. I wonder if that... I wonder if there is... I wonder if there is mission that is not important. What the fuck? <laughs> Sigh, I miss her. Sorry, well, let me read this out. Great, I wonder if there is mission that is not important. Okay. Today I got a message from Aurelian. He kept it short. Nomads have returned. Meet me in New Berlin. Damn it. A few more detail details would not have heard. Well, to New Berlin, then. Well, okay. Um... Let me go repair this guy first. Repair complete. Uh, so this is uh, the extended campaign. This is not a part of the default game in the slightest. Uh, it's just kind of you get to fuck around and and do whatever you want, I guess. I don't really know. I, I guess I guess we'll fuck around and see see where it takes us. Loaded into cargo hold. I mean, I'm kind of curious. What, what what does it say that the? Okay, so it's a mission for next one. Um. Anyways, I want to take a bit of a break because uh, I recorded this all on like one weekend, uh, and so I'm I'm now kind of like getting a little bit of uh, obviously uh, too much too much freelancer five me. Uh, I, I as I said, I wanted to get it done just so I didn't leave you guys on a cliffhanger. As far as I'm concerned, the default game is now done. Um, it's all it's all done with. It's all fine. Um, like that's where it ends. Like that that text you saw there, the box there with the grammatical errors. That was uh, part of the mods campaign, and I'll do that. Uh, just give me a little bit of a break first, please, guys. I need it. I'm, I'm going on vacation and shit, please. So now, now all, all, all the, um, all the whatever the fucking reputations now reset. So now, you're I'm on planet Manhattan, and they're, they're okay with it now. So just you know, telling you how this this mission this thing ends. So let me go to the main menu and see the credits. Uh, okay, there's absolutely no credits in this game. Or the mod removed them, or something like that. Whatever, okay. Um... I guess, uh, you know, I'll give you my final thoughts. Usually I like to talk over the credits and stuff, but there, since there's no credits, I can't talk over the credits, so... Um... Generally speaking, the game is very, very good. Uh, even if you play just the vanilla game... Uh... You know, it, it really is normally just the vanilla game. Uh, and so I, I want to spice it up a little bit and add the mod to it. I'll talk about the mod a little bit after, but as for the default game, the default game is very, very good. Um, it, it's a little bit different from... So I, I, I did a little bit of reading. Chris Roberts was more of a... Um, he did consultation mostly for this game. He wasn't like a project lead, apparently, for it. Um, but it turned out really nice. Like I... Like, usually the, the kind of space sim games that Chris Roberts does, the, he does the first person one, so he did like Wing Commander and, and other kind of, and Star Lancer and st things like that. So this one took a, basically went into the third person, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Uh, it, it makes it easy kind of to, to do dogfights and things like that, I guess. Um, I don't know, um, but I can get used to doing first person. Uh, that, that was one of the things that this game didn't have, it was the first person uh, fighting kind of thing, but it was good. And and the thing is, the the universe is very rich. It's a very rich universe. And I'll I'll let you know about um. Basically, they were they haven't done any other kind of freelancer games. They haven't like it's such a rich universe. Like look look at all the places we've fucking been to. We haven't even explored most of the galaxy. Like we kind of were up here where the nomads were, the Dyson Sphere, uh, things like that. Um, and there's like the Corsair space we haven't been to. There's a lot of these Omega sectors we haven't been to. Uh, the northern part of the Krasari space with the Outcast space you haven't been to. There's so much to explore here. And there's a lot of like outer sectors. So we've mostly been in the inside of Liberty space and Bretonian. And I, I, I'm around to run Rhineland a little bit in Krasari. But they, they made this huge, huge galaxy uh, to fuck around with, with. And so, you know, you can still do more, more here. And so it's a very expansive game. Um, and the universe is very rich, but Microsoft has done nothing with it. Microsoft, Microsoft owns the IP for this. They were apparently planning, uh, they were in development. There was a screenshot actually released of uh, Freelancer 2, and net got canceled. The reason it got canceled? Mostly because, well, it, first of all, it was supposed to be an Xbox and a PC game. It was supposed to be uh, something that they were working on for like both kind of platforms. 
but uh, my guess is they decided to go with the shooter route because uh, shooters became basically really popular on the consoles. They were basically trying to figure out something to capitalize uh, capitalize on, uh, that capitalize on, and basically Halo took off on the consoles, and so then they just they went completely went with that and scrapped every other project they were working on, every single IP and every single like thing that they've done, they just scrapped and just to focus on that. So. Uh, so they've uh, pretty much ditched uh, Freelancer 2. Uh, they're not going to do anything with it. Might be a good thing, because honestly, at this point, I think it'd just be shit. Um, it doesn't have, like, the old teams, and it'd be, like, kind of perverted by people being kind of, like... I don't know. Like, it, it'd be perverted by, like, uh, uh, the the Xbox interests and stuff like that. I, I mean, like, let, let the classics be classics. I, I kind of hate it when, you know, expansions and shit come out that kind of fucking ruin the later games. As I said, we got, um, we got Star Citizen coming out, which is, as I said, in spiritually kind of going to be similar to this with the, you know, do missions for people and things like that. It's going to be, you know, I, I have high hopes for it. Uh, and so we're all looking forward to that because, you know, they had a lot of, uh, like, goals and things for this game. They basically were thinking of, like, uh, real like a kind of like an MMO universe where you know the, all the trading and stuff would be cha like ever changing, and then you'd want to have like fighter escorts go with your 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 ships and stuff like that. And that's what that's the kind of stuff that Chris Roberts is doing for Star Citizen. Uh, but we're never implementing this. This game was still very good, but never like even though like it had a very high. They they basically planned a lot, but then they they cut it down a little bit, mostly because Microsoft said no fuck it, just bring this game out, please. And so it could have been it could have been better, but it wasn't. And I can actually see Freeport Seven. I don't. I, I can't. Even, I can't actually get there. It's kind of odd. So yeah, there's that. Um, you know, as I said, it was really good, but it could have been better, uh, mostly because of what they were thinking of doing. But Microsoft, basically, Microsoft fucking ruins everything. Let's just go with that. Uh, you, you you guys already know my opinion with Microsoft. They're they're fucking cancerous. <laughs> but anyways, it's it's a real shame. It's it's just a real fucking shame. Uh, but this is still good, as I said. Uh, I would still, I would say though that the vanilla campaign at least um, kind of gets a little bit uh, at the end. It's just kind of like all at once. Like it just kind of spits out the story all at once. It was clear that they were supposed to do more with it, but they kind of like abruptly finished it up. Uh, that's at least the way it looked to me. Uh, especially because you bought the the order fighter and then you never bought anything else after that. I was flying around in Valkyrie for pretty much half the game, but I had fun with that. I like the Valkyrie. Valkyrie is kind of cool, so you know, I you know I had a good time with that. So it was good, uh, you know. So and you wouldn't actually be able to buy the Valkyrie normally. It's just the fact that all the level requirements from the mod were taken out from the ships, so I could buy whatever I wanted. Um, so there's that. And the second thing I want to talk about is the mod. Um, there was a there was a point earlier uh, in the, in when I was playing this was where I thought I wouldn't be doing anything with this this mod because I was I was actually genuinely pretty worried because um, it didn't actually add the variety I hoped it still hasn't I still don't think believe it really delivered on the variety I hoped for uh, you know I, I mean there was the you got the torpedo launchers kind of faster but it the game is severely unbalanced and there's no uh, real like, so, some things were over really fast, and some things took way too fucking long. Like, the Liberty Fighters that I was fighting with the, the fucking infinite shields, that was fucking ridiculous. Oh, dear God. Uh, but then I got to the Nomads, and Nomads were easy as shit because they had no shields and no, no nanobots. So, um, the guys who made this mod did not scale it at... Uh, 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 like, they didn't scale it at all for, basically, single-player purposes. And I can see why it's 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 a it's very clearly a multiplayer mod. I just you know it's the only one that actually has any kind of single player support, so that's why I picked it up. Um, as I said, I'm not disappointed that I did it, uh, but it's and if I would do it again, I probably would because it's still as I said, it still added a bit of like, you know, the graphics were nicer. It added a little bit more variety, very tiny bit. I mean, instead of finishing the game with the Anubis fighter, I was I finished it with the Valkyrie. And that was kind of cool, as I said, because I, I, I like the Valkyrie uh, fighter a lot. I, like, I could have chosen something that was more powerful than that, but I figured for fucking style points I would do the Valkyrie, because uh, that was fun. Uh, so I, I, I hope I got all the internet style points for doing that. Um, 
Apparently, nomads started to attack human colonies again. Should be easygoing information. So, um, I'll, I'll see what I think of it at the end of the extended campaign. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll play that. Remember, this is written by a bunch of uh, got, like fans of the game, so this is not indica like indicative of, of like the the. It's not basically a part of the final game. The final game is over now. Um, so I will, as I said, I'm doing the extended campaign. I'll see how that goes. I'll see if I like it. Maybe it'll just be funny. Maybe it'll be actually really good. Um, I don't know how much they managed to do with this engine because I, I I imagine there's some pretty harsh limitations on the engine. Uh, so maybe it's just gonna be the text prompts, and then it just makes me go do a mission and things like that. So. I don't know, we'll, we'll see how it is. Um, so the mod, uh, I guess it w it's worth it. There's a 2.0 version of the mod coming out. Maybe they fixed everything I'm complaining about. Who knows? Um, I, I I don't know. But it, as I said, I, I, I don't regret it. I think it I think it was a decent mod enough. Like, you know, it did some nice things. Like it brought up the cruise engines to 450 rather than the 300. So it made the, the progression faster in that regard. However, I didn't like the fact that everything required so much fucking money oh my god that was that was a bit on the um, ridiculous side uh, the, the fact that I needed like how many credits do I have right now I have uh, I'm currently worth 13 million credits um, I think though that the the last mission got me a lot of that so I don't really know because I think that was my reward is a bunch of million credits um, I don't know. Whatever. It's it's as I said. Um, it was it was interesting. I guess uh, it was worthwhile. Maybe as I said, maybe the 2.0 will be better. Um, I think it was better than doing just vanilla. I guess I was concerned to go back to vanilla, but I figured I wasn't gaining a whole lot from that, uh, and I wasn't losing a whole lot by continuing to do this without the vanilla uh, with the mod. So you know, no regrets. No regrets at all. So next time we'll uh, continue the Crossfire mod after a bit of hiatus from me. So uh, take care everybody and, and see you later.